it's a loophole. Theater law? Oh, really? Yeah. My promotional efforts seemed to be working. All right, Smokers Unite. Because within minutes, customers began arriving at the 1881 Club for a night of legal indoor smoking. As a final precaution, I had two women recruited from the theater district who were interested in seeing an exciting new play. So for two? For two. Okay, you're in luck. We have two uh, front row seats still available. Very cool. I knew an audience would be the final piece to legitimize my production in the eyes of the law. So with the women in their seats, it was time to begin the show. All right, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. So it took a lot of work to get this play off the ground. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything. But all I'll say is I hope you enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it. So without further ado, smokers allowed. <laughs> <laughs> My plan was working great. People could now smoke freely without the bar having to worry about any legal repercussions. And with the audience shoved away in the corner, hardly any customers seemed to notice they were there. Best of all, I had never seen Ellen look happier. So after an hour and 20 minutes, when the bar crowd started to dwindle, I decided to close the curtain and say the play was over. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed Smokers Aloud. It was a successful evening, but then something happened that I never expected. The audience actually seemed to enjoy the play. Oh man, they were awesome. Yeah, yeah, they, they were. were awesome. It's so funny because it's like so nothing in a way, but incredibly profound. 